Hello and welcome to the AWS Partner Showcase presented by theCUBE. I'm John Furrier, your host. This is Showcase Season 1, Episode 2. Uh, I've got Danielle Greshock, Worldwide Director of ISV Partner Solutions Architects at AWS. Welcome to the kickoff, Speeding Innovation with AWS. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Thanks, John. Hey, we've got some great companies we're presenting with this week, um, talking about kind of speeding innovation, really with the cloud. And obviously Amazon, you guys are number one and doing this. This has been a big theme from reInvent this past conference. A lot of people are refactoring in the cloud from observability to new ways to counter ransomware to even backup and recovery. These were once point solutions. Now they're not point solutions. They're part of the cloud platform that's powering new modern application, you know, from CD pipelining, cloud native. It's out there now, it's now well known. People are looking at this and going, okay, this is cloud next level or super cloud or whatever we want to call it. It's happening and people are having solutions and you're in the middle of it. So what's your take on this? Because, you know, Veeam, Splunk, Clumio and others, they're all doing great business and now refactoring in the cloud with AWS. Yeah, well, I think that, you know, what a lot of companies are finding now is that um, being moving to the cloud is really speeding their innovation. And of course, there's been a faster move to the cloud because they realize the benefits that they can that can get from that movement. And, um, you know, companies uh, like Veeam, like Clumio, they are building on top of uh, AWS and coming up with new ways to solve uh, customer problems. And then of course, the other thing is that there's so much access to, to data and insights that you weren't able to have before, um, but now that you can retain that data with the scale of the cloud, um, lots of companies are finding new and exciting things to do and innovate with that data that they are able to hang on to. You know, it's interesting. You see the entrepreneurial activity. I, mean, I was reading, yeah. you know, this is what I do on the weekends. I go back to 2006. <laughs> and I look at the early Amazon posts of EC2 and S3, and that was a real great startup uh, a movement and that changed the game. Now, even today, the startups are out there. You look at Clumio, right? Pujol mm -hmm. was there. He's been doing great stuff. He came from Nutanix, a hyperscaler. Now he's got a startup that's growing like, like a weed out there and, and Amazon's powering that. You got Cohesity. They're going, they're almost going to go public, I believe. They've announced that. Yep. They're about to go public. So they're going to be a, a public company many others. And you have Veeam, which has been in the ecosystems for many, many years, a decade. So these are a good mix of companies and this is the makeup of the kind of customers you have. What's the thing that they have in common? Why should people pay attention to this, th these, these companies and the relationship with Amazon Web Services? Yeah. I mean, I think the thing that these companies really have in common is uh, thinking about the cloud as this new paradigm that they are building for. Um, you know, if I think about Veeam, um, you know, we have really amped up a lot of our both our building and co-selling with Veeam and they're having a lot of success um, with small companies, medium companies, big companies as well, just with their product. And so um, that is what I think is the difference is they are looking at it as an, an opportunity to innovate with their product and take advantage to what the, what the opportunities the cloud provides there. What are you guys seeing as, as solution architects in your customer base? Look at AWS from a, from a um, partnership standpoint. It used to be, you get into the marketplace, yeah. you have some programs, okay, all mm -hmm. good. You guys have shifted that. Can you give us an update on what you guys are doing with respect to offering new kinds of value as your customers change and grow? Yeah, I mean, definitely we've seen a lot of success uh, with our SaaS factory program that is looking to, you know, help companies make the transformation to SaaS. Also our workload migration program, helping um, ISVs to move uh, even faster their on-premises business into AWS for sure. Um, but I also just think that, you know, what our customers demand actually at this point is they're really looking for full-blown solutions. So us working with them on, you know, solutions, working closely with systems integrators who can help um, you know, execute on those solutions. Those are all things that you know, our successful ISVs are really leaning into. This, uh, this month's featured companies all have one thing in common. They're all using data yeah. at scale uh, and data as part of the developer process. You're seeing data being you know, available and they have to be available for machine learning and other mm -hmm. things because you have to be more agile and the scale. So you got more flow and also scalable uh, um, in terms of users and, and whatnot. So this is a co common theme. What's happening from, from a customer standpoint as they start to re-architect because you guys have to provide that now next level headroom. Yeah, 
I mean, I think that, you know, we're, again, we're seeing a lot of companies wanting to do different things with the volume of data that they actually have and things that they were never even considering in on-prem. So we talk about refactoring. It's not simply a lift and shift. They're looking to get some technology benefit out of the move, right? So just kind of having a net net from on-prem into the cloud is not going to be um, good enough. And so we're looking to add that value when they go and make that investment. You know, we've been always writing about them covering Snowflake as an example, bring them yeah. up. You know, you have Redshift, but it's also, you know, competing, I guess, with Redshift, but they're our partner, they're growing. They built on AWS and became valuable because they did it differently in the cloud. We're using that as many other examples like that. Their companies are coming mm -hmm. in and building and taking advantage of the gift called scale, <laughs> CapEx gift from AWS. And also you got Silicon coming. So more and more goodness on the Amazon side, enabling the partners. So I have to ask you, and that's all kind of documenting is happening in real time. But the, what it's teasing out is that the integrations are changing, right? So you're seeing yeah. a lot more tightly coupled engineering or solutions with AWS mm -hmm. and your top partners. Can you share uh, insight into what that looks like and how, what, how you guys think about that? Yeah, I mean, and definitely a lot of our top partnerships really do start with uh, integrations. Uh, that's where we're able to, you know, find the value that differentiated solution on AWS. So, you know, S Snowflake as an example, just talked uh, about how their uh, integration with Private Link and some of their serverless integrations were really the cornerstones of the new partnership that they've built with us. And same thing with other uh, ISVs, they've really looked at um, the integrations to be core, the val building the value uh, with AWS, um, with our services and for our AWS customers. So um, whatever it, of course, these are very bespoke, you know, what's going to be important to a data company isn't going to be the same thing that's important to um, a storage based company, but um, still being able to bring the full value of the innovation that AWS makes and have that better together story is really where we find a lot of uh, value there. Yeah, and you're in the middle of it too. You have your, yes. uh, you have the keys to the kingdom. Solution architects are all mm -hmm. really actionists right now. <laughs> Everyone's looking, okay, I got to, I got to build on what I got. And also, you know, I got to build the architecture in real time and build on top. It's not, it's not a tear down. It's a, it's a continuation no. of what they yeah, and and even our most mature uh, solutions and partnerships, those that are full SaaS solutions, they still, those, the companies that are innovating uh, and continuing to, you know, bring new features to market are the ones that uh, we, we end up, you know, finding to have the most success with. And that is really what my team does is, yeah. you know, building those integrations and new solutions on AWS. It is our core, you know, reason we exist and, you know, what, what we uh, feel is the cornerstone to, to great partnerships. You know, Dave Vellante and I and our team, we're always commenting about how the cloud scale is a real benefit to anyone one, whether it's leveling up talent, bias, and you know, women in tech is coming up, got International Women's Day coming up around the corner, yeah. and that's happening. So it's all good, right? So whether you're a startup or a big company, if you get that one feature right in the cloud, you can really change your business. And I think this always used to be elusive for the product marketing teams of the old way things were built. You know, you got to test it out and put it out there. You know, now you got real time information and for companies that are, in the, that are ISVs out there, they really can be nimble. Well, and that's the thing too, is we try very hard to make sure our ISVs um, have access to customers, our customers, and that's how they can, you know, figure out like what is the right thing to build um, for them. So, yeah. Whether you're big or small, the cloud's great. So I got to ask you, what's the season one of the AWS Partner Showcase? We're proud to present that with you guys. It's been a great uh, partnership. We love getting the stories out there. Episode two is about this theme about, you got a little data here, you got back and recovery, you got ransomware, you know, old point solutions. We've got great conversations. Why should people pay attention to this episode in your opinion? What's the big aha going on here in this episode? I mean, for me, I think, uh, ISVs ask me all the time, how can I innovate with AWS? How can I have a successful partnership? This series will, will give you that answer. Uh, you can see real world examples of um, what other companies are doing to be successful. So, I mean, that that is reason enough and it's a very competitive tech, technology market. So, um, yeah. you know, lots of good ideas there to see. Great stuff. And of course, again, these are big, these are big ISVs that are doing great stuff. They're software developers. They're building the next modern applications. Danielle, thanks for coming yeah. on. You're the worldwide director of the ISV Partner Solution Architects at 
AWS. You're in the middle of all the great action. Must be fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's, it, I couldn't ask for a better job. All right, well, thanks for coming on this keynote kickoff. Appreciate it. I'm Sean Furrier with theCUBE. You're watching and, and we get the whole series coming up, but this is the AWS Partner Showcase presented by theCUBE Showcase Season 1, Episode 2. Enjoy the great presentations. Thanks for watching.